Yo, what are you saying? It's your boy Marsh Chats back in with another video. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the KSI Logan Paul fight. You know, as you can tell from the title, something spectacular. But before we get into this video, I want to introduce my cousin over here. What are you saying, man? <laughs> man speak up loud on my guy. Oh, shit. I'm scared. <laughs> Yo, it's your boy Nets. What are you telling me, fam? Yeah. Obviously, like, man's going to link his socials down below. Yeah, there. Might as well put it in the description too. So yeah, let's get into the video. So before we get into the main event, which is, you know, Logan Paul v KSI, KSI v Logan Paul, however you want to put it. So all like, that. Man watched the match, like, man watched the first match I saw that talk, the Phantom Weight one. But I'm pretty sure like you, you would, like you, you didn't watch that match. Nah, no, I didn't watch. Like, like four matches from. But before we get into the uh, Devin Haney one, did you see the B Tech Logan Paul KSI fight? Which one was that? But you know the one that me we walked into the room. Oh, the one with the, the guy with the blood. <laughs> yeah. You know when I walked in, I thought that was Logan Paul. Man. Nah, like, I said that. I'm like, nah. Like, like, everybody thought yeah. it was the B Tech version. <laughs> nah, like seriously, like you know, my saw the memes on Insta. It was um, the Logan Paul. KSI fight for Android users. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I saw that shit. Like, man, pull it up. I'll show you after this. But like, there were just brilliant people there. Like, wait, who was that person? I don't know. It was some um, African youth. But another guy was like thirty-four. <laughs> He's probably learned about his age. <laughs> <laughs> oh fam, no. But really and truly, like, it was just nasty. Like, I remember we walked in, and you thought that. The match is going yeah. like now. Like, I thought the match was going up. Like, yeah. like, that match was just nasty. Like they actually bullied us into that fight. Like these these man got the lookalikes to fight first. <laughs> Beat it. But that's not racism. I've never seen <laughs> never seen anything else. Alright then, so let's chat about the um, Devin Haney fight card. I'm not gonna lie, like out of the most the most fights that, you know, intrigued me that night, except from um, Billy Joe Saunders' fight was the Devin Haney one, like, it was young 20 year old, you know, first ever, um, not first ever, second youngest, um, champion, like, in the world, when it comes to boxing, WBC belt, he's in the lightweight division, so yeah. really truly, like, He has no losses, is it? Nah, no losses yet. Trying to be like, still. <laughs> Take no L's in life. Now, yeah. but that cool set, fam, if you don't finish that cool set, that's an L right there. Fat L. Nah, <laughs> nah, but really and truly, like, with this fight, like, it was my guy's first ever title defense, like, I could tell, like, I could tell for a fact, he was a little bit nervous, but, yeah. and my guy had that swagger, but you know when he was in the fucking, um, interview room, when they were taping up his sons from, man, he was, like, licking his lips, like, he could get all the girls from, <laughs> but no, remember what you said, you know, remember you said at the end of the fight, like, after he won, like, that um that girl, the scorecard girl, just oh, staring, staring at him, staring at him, smiling like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like, she wanted to just suck his dick or something. From. Nah, really, truly, like that's <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, nah, that's the type of bullshit that you'll see from. You can tell my guy's a pretty boy, but he was so fuck you up, fam. Yeah, man. <laughs> it's a chase, man. Nah, man, but really and truly, like for this guy, like it was, it wasn't the fight he expected. Like, yeah, man, I saw. Nah, I feel that was one of his. Best performances. It's definitely better. Like really, true, like has like has been better. Like with him, for instance, like for a fact that like, he himself knew, like he was nervous during the fight. Like he showed before the fight when he was inside of the ring. Like he's an inside fighter. He was fighting against an outside fighter. Like he was like he was doing what he could, stepping in, giving in the jabs, all of that. But the outside fighter guy was just moving mad, like. Yeah. Really and truly, like the way how he was just hugging him throughout <laughs> the entire fight was something else entirely. Like, really and truly, with this like, with this type of boxing match, because it was his first ever title defense, yeah. too. So, normally, what I said yesterday, normally, like the shift from challenger to champion, some people don't overcome that. Some people still think that they need to fight yeah. like a challenger when it's their first title defense. Some men don't actually get to that headspace that. I'm actually the, the champion. champion yeah. I'm the guy who has to like defend my title. Trying to beat me. To yeah. What you have, basically. But really, she like he he had that mindset. It just to prove it in the ring, and he proved and he did prove it in the ring. So like 
the fight was just turning into like a, a mud slug, really and truly. But when he dropped, like when he dropped that guy yesterday, yeah. like he showed him, yeah, I'm your champ. You, I'm the champion in your weight division. You may be like five years older than me, but I'll still smack you up. <laughs> still. No. But the Billy Joe Saunders fight, that's the one I wanted to ask you about. Um, did you watch the fight? I you told me about it, didn't I? I didn't, yeah. I didn't get to watch it. Like, it was his first time fighting at the Super. Well, I'm not sure because he, he did fight for the title, but in this, this fight, like, no footwork. Like, his double jabs, triple jabs weren't there oh. because like, it was the second time fighting at that weight class because you know Super is basically the same weight class but like, you, you gain an extra, yeah. a few extra pounds and all that so basically like for him it took him a while to knock out his opponent but I'm not going to lie, the 11th round that's what I wanted to, that's what I told you about that like, he dropped the guy like three yeah, times in 20 seconds yeah. like what fucked me up the most is that like, when the round ended, the 10th round ended um, his opponent was just kissing everyone in his corner. He's kissing anyone he could get his hands across when a match ended. He was raising up his arms like, Yes, I'm the champion. Like, I'm going to claim that belt. But you can see, like, you can see in fucking Sanders' eyes on glimmer of hope, just chilling there. And me, I was watching, I was rooting for him. And I was like, Fucking hell. Is, is he American? No, he's British, my brother. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. He's really British, fam. Oh, shit. I didn't know. He's more white than a white voice as fuck. <laughs> Nah, but really and truly, like, he's fight when the 11th round began, I, I was feeling scared because he started to lose out points. I was feeling scared when I saw that. So, like, but then when he just dropped him the first time, I was like, oh, maybe something's happening. He stood up again, he dropped him the second time. I was like, Jesus. okay, wait, wait, wait. I was like, is this actually happening? He dropped it the third time. You know the referee didn't wait for the Damn. guy. To, the, the referee didn't wait for the guy to hit the floor. He just called it. <laughs> he called it. Well, no, it was a fuckery. Like really, truly, like the way and the way how he dropped them was just nasty. But like in the interview afterwards, they asked him that you know when he did what he did. How did you know? Like how did you know that he was gassed out and he was just putting out front? He was like, oh, as a champion, you need to know that. Like, when people reach their limits, that's when they start like showboating. And he himself knew that there was a time to step on the gas, a time when not to, because if you step on the gas too early, we would have lost it. Yeah. But he said that what he said there. <laughs> Especially when he said, when I saw him rejoicing, kissing everyone, he said it was time. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I, I mean, I was just thinking, what type of up do you have to be? Right. You know, to you see your, your you see, you see, you see someone rejoicing, you're like, you know what? I'm a fuck off his day. That's intelligent. I mean, like, that's, that's that's some feed mentality. That's yeah. our enemy of progress. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't expect someone to be thinking like that. Yeah, really and truly, you wouldn't. But yeah. as a champion, but you need to. <laughs> and that's what he proved to us. But he said something. He said something. He was like, most of the people who came to watch, you know, all the matches there, when I saw that win, we did. He <laughs> actually clapped for him. <laughs> no, no. Like he said most of the people who came to watch that match, like they've never been fans of boxing, like they're only there for KSI Logan Paul. And he says that he wants to grab at least half of those fans to start cheering for him. So with the performance that he did, I was gonna say that do you think what he said was worthy of the performance he did? What okay, KSI? No, not okay, KSI, but a Billy Joe Sanders, my brother. Oh. But he himself said that half of the people that came there for the main event because they've never watched boxing before he wanted to draw them his way and start cheering for him yeah. like in the future to follow his career yeah. so do you think the fact that he did like was you know, worthy of the words he spoke before yeah i think so it should yeah because wait he dropped wait billy Saunders, right yeah yeah bam he dropped the guy three times in 20 seconds yeah but like it's not the first 20 seconds it was late so he still did it he though. wasn't top of his game and all that he himself acknowledged that and he said that you could you, if you follow him more you'll see that he's had better performances he said that he said that tonight he wasn't his best he knows that, that it wasn't his best yeah and he still floored the guy three times yeah that's the point exactly the so thing you're like me like you continue what you're saying okay huh no you can continue that no, continue what you're saying. no like thing is that if you can acknowledge that, saying that oh, I wasn't my best fight, even though I, I said that yeah, I'm going to put on a spectacular fight, I'm going to do this, this and that for you. 
and you're gonna be amazed if you follow me. The fact that he was able to own up to it, he didn't shy away from it. Not the person interviewing him didn't even mention it, he said it himself. So, you know, that shows what a true, you know, champion, yeah. pride, resilience, and all that is. He's humble as well. True, my brother. And the problem is, like, the type of champion he's like, it was like, he's, he's like the type of guy, like, if you go to like a bar, you probably see him there. Mm-hmm. So he has that type of air around him. So, aside the point from the Devin Haney fight, Billy Joe Sanders' fight, and into the main event fight, before before we even talk about how the fight went and all, how it ended, who did you think was going to win going into the fight and why? Me, I thought okay, Sal's going to win. Because all the people he was training with, Anthony Joshua, like, or like Mayweather's team and that, they're, they're, they're champions, so I, I thought that. I don't forget Vidal from Vidal Riley. Yeah, Vidal, Vidal, Vidal yeah. Riley from like that YouTuber guy. Because. Like, yeah, so I feel like they should be able to train them well to do well with this fight. So I thought he was gonna win. Man, well, that's calm, you know. You know when I ask you the question, and you're like me. I thought you just gonna say you deserve to win. I was like, okay, <laughs> <laughs> nah, because like me myself, I had faith in Vidal. And probably was like the way how the fight went and the result that we got. Um, I, me, really and truly, I think Vidal earned the respect that. He should have got from everyone else because when he was there at the press conference, he got people telling him, "Who are you? Who who are you?" Like disrespectfully, like because of that. Now we see how much work he's putting with KSI. He's like he when KSI won, it's like he won the respect from them, you know, for Vidal. Me myself, like I was of course, man's gonna say KSI UK. I love you for Logan, fam. Like, I had doubts back there, sir. Now, now you're saying you have doubts. No, like, I, 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 no, I said I have doubts. No, I thought he was going to win in it, but I was like, if KSI. You're like, by God's grace. Yeah, like, <laughs> if he does, if he slips up, I don't think Logan's going to allow that to pass. He's going to take his opportunities. Car, it's a serious match, fam. Like, they hated each other. They want to prove he's the best fighter out of the two. So I thought, okay, I, I believed in KSI, I wanted him as well, <laughs> but I was like, you know what, like, because Logan's bigger as well, taller, so there's some advantage, uh, advantage, <laughs> advantages for him, but I believed in KSI, he's my bro. He's the only bro in my family, I know where he's <laughs> lived. <laughs> <laughs> We're black, Nigerian. You're both black. But my reasoning behind it was just like based on the performance of um was based on the performance of the last match. Um Logan took them earlier rounds with the jab, like he controlled the earlier rounds with his jab and I was like if he worked if he trained with professional like Shannon Briggs, like let's go champ. But like, <laughs> no, like, let's go champ. <laughs> yeah, like if he worked like cause he worked with professionals, I was thinking that jab is gonna come back stronger, faster than before. And if KSI can't step in quickly, he can't avoid those jabs. He's just gonna be eating jabs throughout the whole night. I thought we literally I thought Logan jab his way to victory. Like that's what I thought. Yeah. But then when it when we checked on everyone's progress, you know, interviews, match like, you know, just matches and all of that, we see everyone's progress and really and truly I was like, you know what? I think it's KSI, it's going to be KSI. If I'm going to put money on anyone, it will be KSI. So, you know, let's talk about the fight. So, obviously, you were there with me when we watched the fight. So, the first three rounds, I believe they belong to KSI. Like, KSI. Yeah, KSI was, was a, like, quick hunt than him. Was he, he was getting, um, Logan was getting a bit tired, wasn't he? Yeah, but stamina was yeah. a mess. Fuck it. KSI has a lot of stamina. He has more stamina than Logan. Yeah. But me, I'm not gonna lie. All of the boxing techniques that both of them learned just went out the window when yeah, the bell went. Like these niggas started swinging like it was fucking secondary <laughs> school. And like when I saw that, I, I was I was saying like your bed for man, man had that man had that Chinese uh, fucking man had that not that Chinese man had that fucking egg fried rice yeah, and man. chicken in my hand. I was like, is yeah. that is that is that the fight that we signed yeah, up for? Come on. 
Yes, I was just swinging. No, but the good thing about that is like, in the last fight, he was swinging, he couldn't keep his composure. Yeah. Now when he swung, he could step back, or when he swung, Logan stepped back, he was able to push forward with yeah. a jab. Yeah. Also with KSI's jab, this guy's mastered his jab, I'm not gonna lie, he was trading his jab blow yeah. for blow with Logan, and that just made the, like, that just made the night. Like, see how many like cross-sections jabs in between them, like, Logan will get a jab, and okay, KSI's so jump finally coming yeah. up like some delayed counter effect but really and truly like they worked on their fundamentals it shows in the match yeah. Logan was flat footed as fuck for the first four rounds like I was cheering on KSI and you could hear me and all that yeah. but you even heard me shout a couple of times what the fuck he did Logan yeah, yeah because like, like you like oh this is not him yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> like yeah it's not him because like the jabs weren't there the footwork wasn't there, yeah. the movement wasn't there. He was like walking up to him and just doing this with his hands. I'm like, that's not the way, yeah. that's not the way, that's not the, that's not the truth, that's not the life. <laughs> <laughs> like that's, that's Love not... Jesus, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, this just got controversial. Yeah, now, now I'm not gonna get ads on the video. And now I start to, start to get ads on the video now. <laughs> I've lost it, the monetization. <laughs> nah, but really and truly like, the fight, in itself it was a great fight and I'm not gonna lie, what do you think about Logan's performances in the last three rounds though? I thought he was gonna win in the last really, three rounds. Yeah. Like he, he was playing with JJ in the yeah. last three rounds. I'm not gonna lie, he got his composure back. I don't know if he was knocked in the head a few times by JJ and all of the let's go champ, let's go champ, just getting to him and he's like, yes, yes, let's go champ. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, and then like just fumed, fumed him to start swinging yeah. and all of that. But Logan started getting back into it and I started getting afraid for JJ. Yeah, I was I'm not gonna lie. Scared, man. Right, but like when when Logan dropped JJ, you yourself said that it wouldn't you wouldn't count that as a foul yeah. until you saw the other camera angle of like Low key pushing on him with his yeah. arm, and you also hit him when he was down again. Yeah. Like if I was a referee, I would have scored it a down if Logan didn't hit JJ yeah. when he dropped. But it was still scored as a down. Nah, it's not a down. Was it not? It got pulled as not a down and minus two and points oh, for sure. um, Logan. So that's yeah, it was fair. The African was at the time. Yeah, like, like I yeah, I think it wasn't a down because of that camera view, yeah. so with that. Mm-hmm. But if I didn't see the camera view, and I was telling where the ref was standing, I would have yeah, pulled that down and yeah. we didn't smack him again when he was, you know, on the, on the cameras. Yeah. Um, we all got gassed when um, JJ's, yeah. when JJ knocked him down. Yes. But, yeah, that was a sick one. Is yeah. <laughs> that what you're saying? JJ, he, also, he landed the uppercuts, man. Wow, yeah. So, yeah. Wow, JJ's uppercut was like, but I'm not gonna lie. Logan's combination with his uppercut. Like, if Logan could connect that left hook. Yeah, that after the uppercut. After the uppercut. Oh, that would have been over. It would have been over. Like, been over. Uh, me, I'm rooting for JJ, but when I saw that, and I saw that actual replay, I was like, if that didn't skim across his head, no. it would have been over. Like, that's two combinations. Like, that yeah. rattled your brain up here. <laughs> through here and you're getting smacked to the side, you're dropping straight. straight. No matter who who your mother is. <laughs> yeah, you're getting dropped. Now nah, but really and truly it was a great thing that we saw. When the match ended, you see the way how Logan put his hand up, he was like, yes, it's me, I'm the champion. Mm-hmm. It wasn't even him, it was like Shannon Briggs was low low key holding his arm up like that. Death. And then when they're like, from the United Kingdom <laughs> everyone everyone lost their shit. Yeah. He was like, oh fuck it. But did you see the press conference um, afterwards when it was like, how come we didn't think you won? He said about COVID. Now I sneeze three times. Yeah, in the morning. yeah. I, see that. <laughs> I sneeze three times in the morning, man. Nah, that's like, like I thought he took the L nicely when mm-hmm. when he came out. Then Manny goes like, no, that that wasn't a down, bro. Let me see the replay. I was yeah. like, oh my god, just take it, just man. take the L with your chest, bro. I'm not gonna lie, he did a good job. Both of them did. Yeah. Um, like you know, like what True Jordy said, they secured the bag without getting hurt. Mm. Neither of them to dive back into boxing again. The performance that was shown was atrocious. I'm not gonna lie. Like <laughs> it was the main event. The boxing skills have improved, but the level of fighting 
that we were promised yeah. by Eddie Hearn, by KSI, by Logan Paul, oh, first round knockout, first round knockout, then you see the way how they fight. Yeah. Like, you could just take that to like a playground and that would just be like a, any other yeah. strap, a lot of strap, any other scrap that would ever happen in London. I said strap because in America you just pull out the strap. <laughs> no, yeah. no, really and truly, just because of that on its own, the level of boxing was just dreadful. But because of this, do you think there's ever going to be like another YouTuber boxing event ever again? Logan Paul? There probably will. If there's like another beef or something. I mean, we still need to see Gib fight, Lo- <laughs> fight Jake Paul. Yeah. We still need to see J- um, Jake fight Gib. Um, who else needs to fight? I don't know. Fam, you know um, that guy that went, you know Tommy, some guy called Tommy Fury? Yeah, yeah. He said that he wants to fight KSI. But isn't that my guy when I love Adam? Yeah, he's, he he's a professional that, boxer. Yeah, but I so saw my guy said that, um, uh, fucking Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury is my uncle, is my, That's my cousin. Bro- he's his brother. Oh, yeah, see, yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> man doesn't know. And he's like, oh, he wants to fight KSI. I don't know, fam. All for the publicity, fam, you know, too. But all I know that KSI Logan Paul, they said killed them. Bam. Yeah. You know, too. Like, did you see the Good Morning um, Britain interview? No, I didn't see that. Like, it came like, like, I think now, from recording, it's about 10 hours ago since it came out. The better recording of it, like, was, um, they're asking him how much money did he make. Obviously, he's not going to say. Mm-hmm. They asked him, um, like, would you ever fight Logan Paul? said, nah, the beef is done, it's settled. But we even see the way how my guy turned into a road man with that. Oh, that, and I said, are you going to fight him again? He's over, like, fam. He's like, no, <laughs> fam, it's over. Man's not, fight, man's not fighting anymore. <laughs> no, no, no. no, but the good morning Britain one, they're like, oh, um, <laughs> um, Justin Bieber, would you fight Justin Bieber? My guy said, I'll smack up Justin Bieber. <laughs> he said, with chest, fam. Oh, but these niggas said, Piers Morgan, would you fight Piers Morgan? He said, yeah, <laughs> yeah I'll fight Piers Morgan. <laughs> I was like, nah. But like, you can't smack him up, fam. He identifies as a penguin, fam. <laughs> that animal abuse. <laughs> these men are already an endangered species, I think. He said, that animal abuse, fam. RSPCA thing. Fucking no, no, but really and truly. That type of antics, but that's just what makes KSI KSI. Yeah, but what do you think the next move for KSI would be for now? He himself said that, I don't know, the Sidemen videos, then his own channel videos, but the way he had to present on Good Morning Britain was like, so what's the next move for you now? Just gonna go back to play FIFA. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded so depressing. I was like, nah. But what do you think, what do you think is gonna be your next move? Do you think the next video is gonna upload is like FIFA or something? Oh, probably. Probably, probably music music video side. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's, I think he's gonna stick to his music as well. God, he's been getting, he's been getting views from music. Is he beefing with anyone else? I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> <laughs> because, like, Jake was saying that, oh, once, Lord, once my big brother beats him, I was gonna, I was gonna fight him too. Fucking <laughs> um, you know. Oh, did he even see Jake? Jake, uh-huh. Jake is just a sad man, fam. <laughs> But do you think you can fuck him up? Yeah. You think you can fuck him up? Jake KSI. Paul? No, Jake Paul. We'll fuck KSI. Do you think you can fuck up um, Jake Paul? Of course, man. Hey, yo, he's, he called you out, fam. I know you're not going to watch this video. He called you out. Oh, <laughs> fuck you up. I'm right now. Right now. Hey, yo, this is my account. Don't fight anyone here, fam. <laughs> <laughs> man, man, still paying rent on this. No, but really and truly, if there is another, like, YouTuber boxing thing, or anything like, do you think you would be able to find like a YouTuber boxing thing? If you were like a YouTuber, do you think you would participate in that if you were given the opportunity? If I was given the opportunity, I probably would secure the bag, man. Even if, even if it means losing, secure the bag? Uh, I don't know because that's gonna stick around for a while. Yeah, your grandkids will be looking at me like, hey, why, why are you such a loser? <laughs> <laughs> but. I think it depends on who I'm facing. Alright then. So what if you're facing like fucking... What if you're facing Logan from? <laughs> Logan? Yeah, you're facing Logan. Just run that, run that fucking ring. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to edit that in. <laughs> I'm too lazy to edit that in. <laughs> fucking hell. And this video is even long, fam. This video is even going long. It's going to be like a 24 minute video. <laughs> it's going to be long. Nah. <sighs> but either way, it was a calm fight. Your overview, 
you might never box again unless you guys are being serious. Like, the level of boxing was atrocious. Retired from boxing. I said, retired. Yeah. Like, he's, he's got his first pro record, retired yeah. from. Is 100%. it? Like, what? <laughs> Just retire. Um, but what do you think about, you know, Logan, your seat and. Is he actually serious about that? I think he's serious about that. He could be a good contender if he had good training. Is he like agile and that? I mean, compared to what we saw in the boxing, no. <laughs> what? He may be like this guy did wrestling and wasn't he like American football like linebacker? So he should oh, be yeah, he yeah, should be true. agile enough. Listen man, do what you gotta do man. Yeah man, let's just leave leave it as that. Uh, if any of you man you know watch the video wanna comment down below what you guys think, you know, comment down below what you think. Either way, that's it being it for the video. If you like this video, make sure you like and you comment down below what I've done right, comment down below what I've done wrong and I'll change it in the next video. And the first time we see my ugly mug, it's gonna be the first time we see his ugly mug anyway. On your screen, make sure you like and you subscribe, hit the notification bell to get notified if ever <laughs> whenever I post. Oh uh, yeah. If you guys haven't clocked, it's clickbait. Don't gamble. If you do, when the fun stops, stop. Stop. Yeah, just stop it. Stop. Alright. Stop. You love it. She got me going psycho. She got me going down.